Star Wars News Thursdays. That's right, we have a new uh, day for Star Wars News on the Gothic Arts channel. Uh, what did I tell you? I knew they were going to bring back Luke Skywalker. What did I say? I mean, everyone's like, you know, he's dead. Just let it go. Leave him alone. I knew they were going to bring Luke Skywalker back. Uh, they had to. It's the only way to save this uh, trilogy and the franchise, really. I came across this article today from the uh, Express, home of the Daily and Sunday Express, uh, Star Wars Episode Nine. Could Luke return alive? Proof in this scene with Obi-Wan and the Emperor. Star Wars 9 fans did not want Luke to die, and now there's new proof how Lucasfilm could bring the Skywalker Jedi back alive uh, and not as a Force ghost or a flashback in Episode 9. Like I said before, we have all these new Force powers. We have all these all these uh, things like interdimensional uh, territories that, that people can go into, like in, the, uh, in uh, Star Wars Rebels. So this article goes on to say, uh, how could they kill Luke Skywalker? Among the many issues a large part of the fandom had with The Last Jedi, Luke's underwhelming and premature death was one of the biggest. In fact, many of those who liked the film also felt the same way. Production has just started on the final film in the Epic 3 trilogy saga. I don't know if I would call it epic, but I mean, it's been it's been something, that's for sure. There are already news reports that Mark Hamill will be shooting scenes with two of the main stars, but will he be alive or dead? Yeah, I've heard this other places, uh, Mark Hamill's starting shooting with uh, Daisy Ridley and um, Adam Driver. Everybody's thinking that it's going to be, uh, you know, Force Ghost Luke. Um, I think they're going to bring him back. J.J. <laughs> Abrams is said to be committed to bringing in as much prequel and original trilogy material as possible. Not many people know that George Lucas had already explored the concept of how Jedi could come back from the dead. Incredible excerpts from an original script from The Last Jedi reveal that Obi-Wan and the Emperor both knew of a way to cross back completely into the living world. Here's an excerpt from the the Last Jedi original script. Here we go. Now, I just want you to keep in mind as you're listening to this, uh, keep in mind The Last Jedi, the movie that we all had to uh, sit through and and uh, suffer at times. <laughs> okay, so here's uh, here's an excerpt from the original script. Uh, the Emperor, which I'm, I'm guessing is Emperor Palpatine. At last you appear before me, Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan says... The boy has many allies. He is stronger than you imagine. The Emperor. Allies. If they are all as you, I have no concern, for the Netherworld has no control over me. And if you return to this dimension, I will easily defeat you. Obi-Wan. There is no entrance to the Netherworld through the dark side. You know very little of its powers. <laughs> Here's a uh, discussion between, I don't know, Force Ghost Obi-Wan and Force Ghost Emperor Palpatine? Or are they alive or what? But um, this, this uh, Last Jedi original script definitely looks a lot, a lot more interesting than what we got. I mean, I would have loved to see this, this on the big screen and, you know, maybe Luke being like a hero because that's what it looks like that they were going for in the original script instead of what we got so uh yeah this looks really interesting this article goes on to say this establishes that the original concepts saw a way to travel between dimensions it links in with another drop scene which saw obi-wan physically return and hug luke skywalker at the ewok celebration he was also accompanied by the redeemed anakin so Obi-Wan physically returned at the end of episode 6. Star Wars commentator, just a YouTuber, uh, Mike Zira, adds, We do know that Disney and Lucasfilm are cherry-picking from a lot of Star Wars Extended Universe material and tossed ideas from previous movies and books and comics and using that as future pieces for their Star Wars movies, so I wouldn't be surprised if they were to jump into the early script of Return of the Jedi and use this concept to bring Luke back to life. Yeah, I think J.J. Abrams uh, does want to save this this trilogy. There are reports from other sites that Disney wants to make Episode Nine into two films, probably to tie up all these loose ends and hopefully to, to uh, actually give fans what they want, or at least at the very least to 
to tie up these loose ends that they left way back from episode 7, you know? But this is very, very interesting. This, uh, The Last Jedi original script, I would like to read the original script. I would, I would very much like to see <laughs> exactly how different it was from, from what we got. Apparently Emperor Palpatine was in it, and, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Maybe this conversation happened during the uh, casino <laughs> planet scene, and we wouldn't have had to watch that. <laughs> I really don't think that Ryan Johnson had this set up in Episode Eight that Luke Skywalker wasn't actually dead. Just because of some of the dialogue at the end, uh, especially the scene with uh, Rey and Princess Leia, where they said, you know, I felt him go. I felt him go peacefully into the Force. Ryan Johnson flat out came out and said, you know, not having the hand, the metallic hand hit the ground was a mistake. <laughs> so what it looks like to me is that J.J. Abrams wants to tie all this up. He wants to give everybody an ending that uh, we all can appreciate and like kind of bring his episode seven to a conclusion this actually gives me some hope because like before i was kind of just saying you know just bring luke skywalker back and it'll fix it'll fix a lot it'll fix the relationship between the fans and the and disney lucasfilm i mean if luke skywalker can, can force project himself across the galaxy to like kiss princess leia's forehead then <laughs> I'm not going to be surprised if they bring him back. I'm not saying that this is going to fix everything that's been wrong with Star Wars, especially with Disney, uh, Lucasfilm, Star Wars, but this rumor, and it is still just a rumor, it's basically just this website saying, you know, this, uh, this conversation that was cut out of The Last Jedi could, could show that Luke Skywalker could be coming back. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this Star Wars news update. Uh, we'll keep an eye on episode 9. Keep an eye on all this, all these news and rumors coming out and exactly how credible this stuff is. I'm not sure, but but I think this was just kind of like nice to read. <laughs> I think I think this could be a really cool scene maybe in episode 9. Who knows? It would kind of change everything that we thought that like Jedi could do. I hope you're having a good one. Check out my other Star Wars videos. There's some there's some other really cool news coming out. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, are they going to bring Luke Skywalker back, do you think? Are they going to leave him dead? Have him a Force ghost? Or is he going to be some kind of weird hybrid uh, poltergeist type thing? Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.